Coolers loaded, activists of all ages boarded a bus Tuesday morning from Louisville to Washington, D.C. And we coming together, not fighting against each other, but as one voice as the people fighting together for justice for all people. They'll be joining the Poor People's Campaign for a march to send a message to West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin and Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell. Mitch McConnell prides himself as far as being the Grim Reaper. Well, we're letting the Grim Reaper know that we're not stepping back and we're using our voices. We're going to use our votes as far as turning our Kentucky from uh, red to blue. The group is especially concerned about McConnell's efforts to block or water down laws meant to expand voting access, particularly to people of color. We do not want voter suppression. Our vote matters, and we're going to make sure he understands that. The majority of people on this bus are young people. Rose Smith, who founded the ACE Project, is hoping taking part in a large-scale event like this will make them see the power of their voices. Sometimes when you come together in unity and voice, that there can be change that can come out of that. So I want them to know that their voice do matter and that they do have a voice. These kids that, that I work with are passionate about what they do. They apply their knowledge and their passion and integrate the arts and performance. Chris Rashid is co-founder of Justice League LOU. The youth in his organization mix activism and performance. He says joining this national movement is taking the activism they do every day at home to the next level. We are going to continue to strive. We are going to continue to move. And the expectation is that we never give up. We never surrender. We fight for right. And the next stop for that fight is the nation's capital. Drew Gardner, WLKY News.